Today we are going to explore time using natural resources that we find around our campsite. Welcome back, Edel Campers, to another Teachable Moments, where we explore, experience, and educate together. The first thing you're going to do is to take a walk with your child. I am all about taking walks that are purposeful for a reason. This helps keep our child occupied and walking. So what you're gonna do is to look for small rocks. You want to collect 12 of them. And you wanna make them a about that size so not too big enough and a flat enough that you can ride on once your child has found 12 small rocks or stones you're gonna have them take a sharpie and number them 1 through 12 right on the rock now this is going to help your child practice writing numbers. As well as um, placing them in a sequence. And it helps them to recall their numbers. Great practice. Now that your child has 1 through 12 written on the rocks, you're going to either show your child a clock face or have them recall what a clock face looks like in their mind and then put the rocks in order looking like a clock. Now if they need a little help you can also do that by setting up 12, 3, 6, and 9 for them and let them fill in um, the blanks. So that gives them a little bit, um, that allows them a little help and you can decide whether they need that or not. Then you're going to fill in and then you're going to fill in the numbers creating a circular form in the shape of a clock. Your child's clock is circular, and now you can discuss with them the hands of a clock, talking about how a short hand tells the hour, and the long hand tells time by the minutes. And what you want them to do is to go out and find a short stick and a long stick that will fit in the center of their clock. Once they return with two sticks, one that is short and one that is long, remind them that the long stick is for the minutes and we're going to put that on the 12 representing o'clock and the shorthand is for the hour and it is close to three o'clock so i'll point the shorthand to the three what you can do next is talk about what time do you get up and they can say maybe seven o'clock and you'll say show me seven o'clock and then they can turn the short hand to the 7, leaving the long minute hand on the 12 saying it is 7 o'clock. What time do you eat breakfast? Eat breakfast at 8 o'clock. And they can show you what 8 o'clock looks like. So you can continue this so they practice. You can even call out hours of the day and they can simply move it to the hour that you suggest. But show me 1 o'clock. Once they've mastered the hour, have your child go out and look for 12 smaller stones. Once they've brought back 12 small stones, you're going to help them um, skip count by fives. Or if they already know, this might be an easy concept for them or something that you're working on. So you're going to write five. and have them continue this process till they skip count by fives all the way up to 60. Now you've placed the stones 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and you are ready to work on minutes with your child. This is great for kinesthetic learners. They can use this to explore and learn the movement of a clock and learn to tell time. You can also place these pieces in a piece of Tupperware. And now your child has an activity that they can play with independently and practice telling time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like to know more teachable moments within the campground, homeschooling, and um, also road schooling. And I'll see you next week. I can't hear.